I'd like to talk about, with you about this painting right here. Um, and it's the title is initially titled something about our times. In our interesting times. In our interesting times. And you can interpret that however you want. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a segue offline, and, uh, as you can imagine, but that way. But uh, so this is um, different in, in a lot of ways. I mean, there's a lot of the hallmarks, which just sort of recap with some people with the, some of those are. It's clearly a grid. Um, and you can see where you've, as we've discussed before, you have your sort of structuring sort of framework, these lines that go across. But, and, and you've got your, your blocks of the, the small horizontal paintings. But this one starts deviating in, in a number of different ways. And one of the things that's interesting is this uh, repetitive element that you have is this black and white. And here you get a little playful and stray in that it's not, you know, is, is consistently uh, or you know, formulaically as rectangular as like say that one and this one, but these become very interesting. So here, this one now has become vertical stripes and, a, and essentially a square. This is like a smudge. This is like a skip of three that sort of reads like a rectangle. So I mean, there's it's interesting things happening there and I'm just kind of wondering why you're sort of experimenting with some things here. And there's also a lot of lavender and purple in this, which is interesting too, both yeah. the ground and on the and the figure. All right. Well, I was as I painted this painting, I was thinking that you could do like a theme, the black and white theme, but that each one could be a variant. See, this is kind of a yellowish color there. Right. And this is a variant on that, and so are the two at the top. So it's like a theme and variations, rather than just the theme repeating itself. Yeah, and the variations though, like if there's the skips, there's the, there's the summer curve, they're shorter, longer. Um, and this one is, also has another element that's a unifying element, uh, particularly in this quadrant here, where it's these lines that go on the diagonal. Yeah. So there's a bit of chaos going on in the painting mm -hmm. that um, I wasn't sure if there's something in particular here we were trying to achieve or was it really just all focused around the, the black and white elements? Well to tell you the truth the painting just took off. Okay. And the black and white elements came toward the end as I was trying to be sure you could actually read it and okay. in the beginning it was just a lot of that you know just um, I wondered about that because they almost these do look sort of last. Um, yeah. I like it. I think uh, this is a, kind of an interesting element because it, it brings in a whole different angle. I think the curve, yeah. you get away with it here because you've got it sort of repeated here, here, this arc. Yeah. But also, you've got these other elements. I mean, they're, they're kind of, some things are coming at angles. And then you've got this sort of skipping through here to, was that a particular thought, uh, I thought late in I the painting well, to was, bring more structure? Uh, I, yeah, I was thinking I really liked that diagonal. And I was going to do it the other way. I kind of started off and I thought, like, mm, it just needs to be one way. Oh, yeah, because uh, there is one element going here. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I see that I really like, you see that section right in there? Mm -hmm. Because that's wild even for me, you know. That's why what? Wild, even oh. for me. To get carried away like that, and then it kind of, it almost like falls apart at the bottom. Right. And I also was kind of practicing or doing something, or just scraping the whole thing off. Like that was all painted like that, and then I just scraped it off. Oh, that I was, see. So you're getting like the under painting, right. the shadow painting, and I like that. Sort of a palimpsest. Okay. Yeah. And the underneath painting is actually really in evidence. Yeah, and it's oh. very much lavender. There's also metallic up here. Yeah. This is like a silver metallic. Yeah, well, that metallic color sort of changes behind the painting all over. Oh, I see. So that was actually part of the under... The under painting. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah, it had to be, because then, yeah, this is dripped uh, over. Okay, yeah, the yeah. green, or that limey green or yellow yeah. green or whatever. But see this this red color here? Yeah. That's one of my favorite colors. 
Yeah, no, I like that passage actually right there because of that mm -hmm. sort of that fluorescent or mm -hmm. hot orange, and then with this, you know, purple. So, no, it's great. I like it. This is very, I think, a very nice successful. It's, it's, it's there's a lot going on in it, but it's distinct from the other work. It is. And, um, but that's because it just took off on its own. Yeah, and oddly, it has more geometry in it. And I think it's because of these rectangle, these diagonal elements somehow bringing another layer of structure along with yeah, the, the residue of your, the your marks, you know, yeah. the horizontal marks. Very good.